guys, welcome back to another episode of Kidtorials. These videos are made by kids for kids. We teach you fun things that you can do. Welcome back to our kitchen. We took a couple of months off so we could have some awesome vacations and attend summer programs. And we're back with Kidtorials better than ever. And one of the camps I attended was Cake Boss. So today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade buttercream icing, which I promised you in my last video. For making buttercream icing, here's what you're going to need. Two cups of shortening, we like to use the sticks, one cup of butter, a dash of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla, make sure you buy the clear kind, which you can find at like Michael's or cake supply stores, two teaspoons of butter flavoring, and 12 cups of powdered sugar. A two pound bag is usually enough. The best way to make icing is to use a stand mixer equipped with a paddle attachment. The first step in our recipe is to cream together all the ingredients except the powdered sugar. First, drop in the shortening and the butter. Before you drop in the butter, let it soften for at least an hour on the countertop. Next, add in a dash of salt and your vanilla and butter flavorings. Next, turn on your blender and mix together the ingredients until they are well blended. Okay, here we go. You may see small bits of butter or shortening. That's okay because it will blend in together once you add in the sugar. Now it's time to add in the sugar, but don't do it all at once because if you do, it's going to make a huge mess. I like to do it about a cup at a time. quick tip to keep your kitchen clean, which will make your parents happy, wrap a dish towel around your bowl so no sugar will come out of your mixer. After about a minute, turn off your mixer and take the towel down to check your icing. Now mix in one cup of sugar at a time until your whole bag has been added. added in your whole bag of sugar, you can see that your icing is pretty thick. That's good for decorating, but you want your icing to be a little thinner to ice your cake. The way to do that is to use some water. To thin your icing, add in one tablespoon of water at a time until it is completely smooth and spreadable. Now it is a perfect consistency to ice our cake. Now, 
It's time for the most important step. You gotta sample your icing so you're not serving your guests something bad. So, if it doesn't taste sweet enough, you can add in more powdered sugar. Mmm. Perfect. Bon appetit! If you like this video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up because it really supports our channel. Until next time, this is Kid Torials.